it going guys? It's already late night. I was busy all day long, but I'm continuing my diet. Today I actually ate uh, Subway again, um, but I did the turkey. I had to do, you know, it wasn't that much. I took a lot of the bread away and I did the, again, the 12 inch. Tw uh, I did half, like around one, and then I ate the other half around six. I didn't eat in the morning breakfast uh, because I kind of did some blood work so I couldn't eat anything and then I went to go get my eyes checked as you can tell this eyes kind of uh, Yeah, I need new contacts new glasses So anyway, but here I'm gonna be preparing my meal for tomorrow and just quick look All Right, so that's lean turkey Y'all know what that is And I'm gonna be cooking it with coconut oil this is ready to go and that's gonna be my meal for tomorrow plus some green apples maybe maybe I'll have some watermelon if I get over it tonight I might be able to do it tonight but that's what I'm gonna be having uh, green apples cabbage and lean turkey this is I think 98% lean have 98% lean or anything that you buy lean um, if you want to lose the weight um, actually turkey is lean turkey is it's very good because you can probably eat like half a pound and you'll still be okay what I do with the lean turkey is whenever I do a burger or so or sometimes not even a burger just a turkey I'll put mozzarella cheese on it uh, maybe some mushrooms some asparagus, you can put uh, cooked asparagus with butter. You can do it with coconut oil as well. Or you can do um, uh, butter. I usually do butter, they taste better. Or sometimes, I mean, you can boil them and they, they also taste good when you boil them. So that's actually with the lean turkey. That's, I mean, that's pretty much a big meal right there. That'll last me probably I said probably the whole day, to be honest. I'm gonna eat like maybe uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna do the three eggs, uh, egg whites in the morning um, with bacon. And then in the afternoon, lunchtime, I'll be having that. And then at night, I'll probably be having that at night. Oh, not at night actually. Maybe 4.30 or 5, uh, just as soon as I get out of work. Cause then after that, I'm not eating after five or six actually uh, whenever I take I do my last meal I'm not eating after that so yes it is very tough I feel the pain but I know it's for the best and it's gonna work my mind is already set for this stuff my mind is already saying hey you know what you can do it you're gonna lose you know 25 pounds it's I, that's what I already have in my mind I'm not putting any kind of doubt in my mind. So I don't want you guys to also put any kind of doubts in your mind saying, oh, I can't lose weight, I'm too big or so on. No. If you already think like that and say, oh, it's the hardest thing to do, I can't follow a diet and stay on a diet, you're already setting yourself up for failure. Don't set yourself up for failure. Just think that you're gonna do it and it's gonna happen and there's nothing else but that and you will see it happening so that that's one of the main things that's why people fail like you know sometimes there are circumstances that you can't do anything about or you can't change but there's other circumstances that yes you can it's just you it's just in your mind you're setting up fa a failure so just don't just believe that you're gonna do it see it and it'll happen I mean really you can lose a lot of weight in one month in two weeks you can lose a lot of weight that moment that you weigh yourself and you see that you've lost already five pounds in two weeks you're gonna say whoa wait a minute I didn't think I can lose weight but it's working I'm losing weight you know that's the excitement that's the you know that's the kick that you know like it kind of like getting your, your your grades in school you know you get a straight A and you're like hey you know I did pretty damn good I didn't think I could get an A but and you, you actually start studying more because now you know you can actually do it. The same thing. So just know that you can lose weight. It doesn't matter who you are, just do it. Don't think about it too much. Quit eating 
in places like McDonald's, you know, and things like that. They're, they're just poison. You know, don't go to Little Caesars or, you know, Pizza Hut. That's all carbs, like heavy duty carbs. You know, there's actually keto pizza. You can make a keto pizza and that's protein. That's good for you. But McDonald's and all that stuff, processed food, frozen food, you know, uh, you know, I, I, I really don't eat McDonald's actually. I think the last time I ate McDonald's was like months. I don't even know, man. Maybe it was sometime last year. I haven't touched McDonald's in a long time. No burgers or nuggets. It was probably sometime last year. And I really don't. I, 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 I try to stay away from that stuff. I mean, it's, it's no good. It's not good for you. It's just poison. So anyways, I just wanted to come back with you guys and at least show you something that I'm doing. Um, the meal and what I ate today. Today again, it was a turkey. Um, uh, Subway turkey. I did the 12 inch, but I ate six inches uh, during uh, like one, and then after that, I ate the, the rest, and that's it. I didn't actually have breakfast. You can actually eat that. Subway is actually not that bad. It's good. You just make sure you load it up with all the veggies. I put tomatoes, green peppers, spinach. I, I usually don't put lettuce because um, that's just like a filler. It doesn't really have a lot of you know vitamins or proteins and stuff. So I put black olives, pickles, cucumbers, a lot of cucumbers, um, and onions. Uh, onions are actually very good, and so on. I didn't put any dressing, no mayonnaise, no dressing, because that stuff, you know, is fattening. Um, so just, you know, you know exactly what you need to eat. But again, if you have any questions, comment down below, like, share, and I hope that, you know, if this is the second video you're watching, you watch my first video. And um, I hope I, I, I'm inspiring somebody to at least try to lose some weight or do something healthy, you know? Especially if you're an older person, you know, past your 40s. Um, and even if you're younger, get that will, that courage to just, you know, eat properly. Go out there and exercise. Um, and just, again, do it for yourself. This is your body. Nobody else is gonna take care of this body but you. Okay, well, that's it for today. Um, I will come back with you guys tomorrow and see how it went. I'm not gonna weigh myself because uh, I just weighed myself uh, Monday, yesterday, uh, in the morning, and I was at 185. So I wanna weigh myself again, probably Friday night or Saturday morning. So I'm thinking more like Saturday morning. I'm not gonna weigh myself again till Saturday morning. And, uh, now, the, the challenge, the next challenge for me is gonna be for next week, I'm gonna start getting up at five in the morning again and going to work out at five in the morning at least four days out of the week. Four days out of the week, five in the morning, and then I have the rest of the day to do whatever I need to do. So, thanks again guys for watching. Push that like button, push that bell, that notification bell. Subscribe more than anything. Share the video, tell your friends, you know, whatever. Jump into this challenge. Make it work for you. Peace, love, and be good.